Hi, Dean here. I want to uh, just give you a little info on what's going to be on this video. I had a chance to talk to Lance Egan for a bit uh, over at uh, Fly Fish Food, the Orm, Utah Fly Shop. Uh, Lance, uh, a lot of you have probably heard of him or, or know him. Uh, he's on the USA Fly Fishing Team. He guides uh, local rivers here. He is uh, very well known nationally for his patterns that he's developed, his, his uh, fly patterns. So a great uh, source of information. Uh, and then after Lance uh, has a chance to make a few comments, we'll go to uh, a fishing day I had on the Weber River. Uh, just a note, uh, Lance mentions a uh, opening on Sundance for a movie that he put together, uh, a tutorial on Euro nymphing. That will be on April 28th, 2018. I know these videos stay on the internet for a long time, so uh, April 28th, 2018 is when that is when that's going to happen up at Sundance. Anyway, hope you enjoy it with uh, Lance Egan here at uh, Fly Fish uh, Food Fly Shop in Orm. Uh, let me just say about the fly shop: it's like a candy land if you tie. It's crazy. The materials here are just awesome. Plus, they got all the patterns that you need. But anyway, Lance Egan, member of the USA Fly Fishing Team, uh, creator of a variety of different, very, very successful patterns, including uh, Rainbow Warrior, Franchi, oh my gosh, Egan the Mergers, go on and on. But anyway, uh, turn some time over to Lance. He'll talk a little bit about uh, what, where he would fish. Uh, it's the end of April right now, so where he would fish and what he would use. Uh, so. Lance, it's all yours. Cool, thanks Dean. Yeah, so as mentioned, it's uh, April 2018. Uh, this time of year we see the tail end of blueing olive hatch and we start to see Mother's Day caddis on a lot of our rivers. I've been mostly guiding and fishing the lower and middle Provo. Uh, they've been really good fishing lately. Uh, we've been doing well nymphing. We've been catching some fish on streamers and for about an hour or two a day, some dry fly activity. Uh, other cool things are going on right now. We have uh, Devin Olson and I and uh, Gilbert Rowley teamed up to do this modern nymphing video. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it for those of you that want to try European style nymphing. And also, cool uh, happening, I guess, this weekend, we have the Sundance premiere of our sequel to this. So we have a new video that's going to get even deeper into the details of European style nymphing that's premiering at Sundance uh, this weekend on Saturday night. So if you're around and you want to uh, join a, a like-minded fishing crowd, please join us up at Sundance. Uh, doors open at 6 and the film starts at 7 p.m. Otherwise, go wet a line and uh, watch out for a few caddis. There's a few squalas that are out and about and uh, get your nymphs deep, low, and slow. Okay. One last question, Lance. If you were just to fish, uh, say, two nymphs and one dry fly right now, what would, uh, which which patterns would you choose? Hmm, two nymphs and a dry fly. I guess the most reliable dry fly right now would probably be a parachute Adams. Could pass as a caddis, a better uh, blooming olive imitation, of course. And two nymphs. Uh, locally, I'd probably fish a uh, red dart or a stonefly nymph, like a patch over lake stone. All right. Thanks, Lance. Appreciate it. You bet. Thank you. Hi, Dean here on the Weeper River today uh, in the canyon portion, a little bit above Morgan. The water is a little low. Uh, they must be trying to fill up the reservoirs, but looks fishable. The weather is beautiful. It's late April, so I'm going to start off uh, of nymphing, maybe some caddis patterns, maybe some sow bugs, see what happens that way. Hopefully some fish will start coming up soon and uh, be able to switch over to drives. That's kind of always the plan I hope for, but we will see what happens today. I just started uh, fishing here in the canyon on the Weber River. We got a little green wire caddis pattern that I tie. I learned from a guy, uh, gosh his name was Dave, he used to have a fly shop in Sandy called Willow Creek, uh, maybe uh, in the 90s. Anyway, it's a great pattern, I'll show it later. But uh, there's brown, a couple casts, and uh, brown trout liked it, so I'll keep fishing. 
This is a little caddis pattern that was working on the Weber River. Uh, it's just a size 14 hook, curved hook with a green medium sized wire abdomen, a little peacock curl for a thorax, and I've got a bead on there and the bead is just a glass bead. It's a metallic gray bead. I imagine tungsten would work even better. But uh, it's been an effective fly, also on the middle Provo over the years. Uh, you can tie the wire in red and in copper, and those also work. Uh, but green seemed to be the, uh, the color that was doing the best today. Got another uh, brown here. They're all fighting fish. They're all jump. I haven't caught any monsters yet, but they're fun to catch, and they put up a battle. And they're pretty fish. Um, this guy went for a sow bug. I've been having some luck with a small pheasant tail today too. So anyway, uh, this, is a, this is a fun fish to catch. They're fat and they look good. So I'll go back and hopefully catch some more. So you can get an idea of what, uh, what pretty fish they are here. Anyway, uh, I'll let him go. There's another nice brown that took a sow bug. It's about uh, 1230 or so and they seem to be picking up uh, as far as what they're eating. It's a pretty nice fish. Um, anyway, every fish I've caught today has been jumping crazy. So I'll, uh, I'll see if I can hook a few more, but beautiful fish today. It's a nice sized fish, uh, real pretty brown. I'll show you where I picked him up, just in these, in these little riffles right here. It's a real little riffle area, just before it goes down into this little deep hole. That's where this guy was sitting. So anyway, good fishing on the Weber today. There's one more uh, pretty Weber River brown, beautiful fish. Hey, I'm uh, sitting on Main Street in Morgan and just wrapping up my uh, fishing adventure today on the Weaver River in the canyon. Uh, had a great time. Caught a good number of brown trout. Not quite, quite sure how many, but uh, it did very well. Uh, caught fish on uh, a green wire caddis. Uh, I caught fish on pheasant tails. Most of the fish I caught we're on uh, rainbow saw bugs, anywhere from size 14 down to size 18. Um, thanks to my buddy Lou Pozzoli for once again telling me what's happening on the Weber. He fishes it every week at least once. Uh, I look forward to uh, finding another river. Hopefully uh, it's getting about the time to start heading a little farther south and, and see what's going on with the rivers uh, a little farther south uh, in the state of Utah.